that's just the first. Right. Brian, uh, Canelo had an interview yesterday, and uh, you guys had some back and forth on Twitter as well. Uh, he's been really harsh with his criticism regarding your discipline. Why do you think he feels that way? You know, he misses me too. He misses me <laughs> in the ring. <laughs> I mean, I know he wants to see me fight too. But uh, that's what a break is, right? Like a break is you don't train. <laughs> so I had to clear some things out, and he knows that. So the things he said was kind of shocking, but I kind of already addressed it on Twitter. I just hit him with the facts. I was kind of tired of him, he, uh, tired that he kept coming at me for my work ethic, and I kind of got fed up. I've shown nothing but respect and love, and I kind of finally was like, all right, I'm just going to speak my mind, my peace, and then leave it at that, and now I'm going to just destroy April 9th, you know? We're actually, the best thing about this is boxing is the most truthful sport in the game. So when you see me step in the ring April 9th, you will see if I have a good work ethic or not. You're going to see. So we don't even got to talk about it no more. You're going to see April 9th if I really do have a good work ethic. You guys had a big brother, little brother-like relationship. Yeah. Would you guys, would you still consider you guys close? It's more like Dark Vader and, you know. <laughs> nah, 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 we're good. You're good. I, you know, no bad blood, man. Like, I still think he's a great fighter. And I... I'm there. I like. I can't hate on him. You know what I mean? He's a great fighter. He does his thing. He works hard to. You know, it's just. It's just the situation we're in right now. It's gonna pass. You know, we, we be probably be cool later on. If not, that would be on him because I'm ready to be cool right now. You guys train pretty close in San Diego, so what's gonna happen if you like run into a run into him at the Starbucks tomorrow? I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> You, but you know, I, I do want to clarify something real quick uh, and, uh, in the comment that Canelo made, um, which I think he's an awesome boxer and, and he's an awesome coach and all that. But as far as him saying that Ryan was supposed to show up at 12 or 2 or that he would show up, then he would leave, you know, that's just misconception because during that moment, and I spoke with Canelo directly, him and I, and Eddie and I, and I just want to say that during what Brian was going through, I was trying to help my son to go to the gym. Come on, Brian. I know this is what you've always wanted. You know, so I tried, I tried. And when I would convince him, he would go. But then I, I noticed, you know, who better than your dad, you know, would know your son, you know. So I knew that it, he wasn't 100%. So Ryan would just deliberately walk out. See, and that's the misconception because if somebody knows what you're going through, instead of hitting him while he's down, you should say, hey, man, we're all family. Let's join together and let me help you. And that's 